All right, let's uh, see what we can get done here. Well, uh, one kid's awake, one kid sleeps, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I am going to, uh, I'm gonna select all of that and the Shift H just to get the barrel. And I think I'll take those and I'll hide those as well, okay? I might even hide the top and hide the bottom. You play right there, and that's fantastic. All right, so I've got the barrel here, and I think we're gonna head into shading here. And what I've done is I've marked the seam. I just, I went to the back, control, oh, sorry, uh, control one, and I just, I'll show you, I'll do it again. Just in case, uh, let's go control E, clear seam, okay. So what I did is I went control one, and in orthographic view, I just shift alt and clicked there. Um, not there, I don't like that. Let's not do that. Okay, let's, okay. Here we go. In edge selection, okay, I did that. I selected that, and then I went control E, mark seam. So I've marked the seam so that I can UV unwrap this. And it'll kind of come open like a relatively flat piece. We're gonna see. We're gonna look over here in the uh, UV editor and we're gonna see what it's like. So with that done, I'm gonna hit A to select everything, U, and let's try this, unwrap. So it's not very straight if I do it that way. So we're not gonna do that, all right? I'm gonna try U, um, follow active quads, and I'm gonna choose length average. Now, if you're lucky, you will get a nice straight, although it's large, nice straight uh, unwrap like that. I'm gonna select it all, I'm gonna hit S, and I'm gonna scale it down, I'm gonna zoom in, scale it down again, and I'm just gonna move it in, I'm gonna scale it again. All right, that's fine. It doesn't have to be super, super accurate with this kind of texturing that we're doing. Okay, that's fine. So I've got that unwrapped and it worked relatively well. So now it's time to do um, the material for this. And uh, like I had said, I think I said before, uh, I my intention is to just uh, do um, something very basic. Yeah, let's switch over there. Uh, stay with that for now. Okay, procedural wood. So I've got principled BSDF and the material output. So I'm gonna shift D and bring this over here. And I'm going to shift A, shift S, sorry, and I'm going to switch to uh, wave texture. Shift D to copy that, and this one I'm going to shift S and change it to a color ramp. Nope. Shift S, I'm going to change this to a mix RGB. Now we're talking. I'm going to take the color from the wave into FAC, and the color from this into the base color, and because I've got the Node Wrangler enabled, I can just go Control T to put down the mapping and texture cord in. Um, this is connected from generated into vector. We're gonna try generated object and we're gonna end up probably with UV. So UV unwrap this. Now, I've got the wave texture on here. We don't see anything yet. Um, and that's because my colors are all white. So I'm gonna switch this to a brownish color. And you can color pick from real wood if you want. If you have an image, we could look at that later. Uh, for now, I'm just going to do this. All right, let, let, let's start with that, and then you could tweak it to whatever you want. So we get some lines on here. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this to uh, I'm going to try rings and see if I like it. And I'm also going to open up my reference image that I like to use for this. Mm -hmm cabinet this material wood floor right here okay so i can see what values i like to use 1.2 and 25 switch this to 1.2 i'm going to switch the distortion to 25 and i've got some detail and scale i'm going to switch that to 45 and i'm going to switch the scale and go for about nine as we can see we get this pattern here looks interesting but not quite uh, not quite what we're after so let's take this out of here and let's try object and it's pretty similar so we're going to try 
UV. And now we start to get our lines. All right, we can adjust the scale of this like that. We can adjust this scale, okay, and just get, get what we want to get. All right, I'll bring that back up to 25. So we get some nice straight lines here that look a little bit like, like wood. Uh, you could play with some of these values as well if you wanted to. I'm not sure that I'm going to like any of that. All right, so I'm going to leave it like that uh, for now. Okay. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the wood lines. And to do that, I've done this in a bunch of videos. Uh, I'm just going to uh, box select these three things, shift D and bring them down. And over here, I'm going to shift D, take that out. And I'm going to convert this one to a vector bump. Color is going to go into height. I think I might need a color ramp there. Yes, I do. All right, so we'll, we'll drop that in there. Let's, let's copy that and shift S. Change this to color ramp. Throw that in the middle there. And we're going to take the normal out of that into the normal of the principle. Okay, now what we need to do is switch this all back to bands. I want the scale at one. I want zero distortion. And I want this. Where is that going to go? Uh, about eight. All right, we could try eight. And then we'll adjust these. Okay, now here's the the thing that we need to do. We need to move, move the white slider right down close. So watch what happens as we do this. Keep going. Keep going. Now you're starting to see what it's going to look like. Whoops, not right on top. Try there. See if you like that. You can even come closer. So it's 0 0.036. 0 0.008. We could try that or 0 0.009 so we start to get that all right got that set at 1 0 0.2 1 0 8 1 ones and 45 now I have that one on generated there uh, but I don't think that's gonna look as good so I think we're gonna leave it on UV okay so that's coming together Let's uh, unhide everything and let's take this top piece there and let's just shift H so we can look at that. I'm gonna look down from the top and go in. Uh, so it's uh, selected and I'm just gonna go U, uh, project from view. With that done, uh, I'm going to, uh, let's move over back to here. Let's go out. Let's go over to the materials. And let's just add that wood, but I don't quite let here. I'm going to bring everything back or alt H so you can see, uh, or at least here we'll select, uh, select, let's deselect everything and just select the barrel again. And, uh, we'll go shift H. So we just focus on that. Now, um, I'm not crazy about that pattern. And so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and I'm going to make this say, uh, uh, um, wood top. And now, and this one is going to be just say wood barrel. Okay, so for that, what I could try to do is adjust the, maybe the scale. Let's try going like this. Even that's a bit better. Looks a little bit realistic. Okay, and I'll put that on there as well. Oops. Okay, so we got that going on. And for these, I'm going to just click new for new material. And there it is. And I'm going to bring the metallic all the way up. I'm going to bring the base color down. I want it dark. And let's uh, go shift A, texture noise. And we'll copy that and shift S. Um, what do we want? I would bring a color ramp. I'm going to bring the color into here and the color into the roughness all right let's do that okay and then i'm going to switch the scale to like try 25 
and then sort of pinch these a little bit and do that kind of a thing until you get what you're looking for and what you think looks good maybe I'll bump this up to 75 uh, maybe you know I don't know a little bit of distortion so it looks a little bit like like metal a little bit okay uh, I'll call that metal and we'll put the same material on here and that would be our barrel now I also in the world want to um, I do want to use nodes and I want to put on um, where am I going an environment texture uh, an HDR image so, you know just anything you find on the internet that you think looks good so I don't know I'll try this one just to give a little bit of extra uh, light to that when we finally have a look at it so there's a barrel with procedural wood uh, you can adjust the, the colors and the, the lines and, and all of this stuff and by all means uh, by all means you should uh, and get a better wood than I've got you know depending on what it is you want to you want to do um, you can now mess with this until you get something that you like that looks a little bit like wood in a cartoony kind of a way you can also switch back and try bands and see if that looks any good there's much difference but I think I'm going to switch to state of rings we could try saw and we're not we don't get much of a difference uh, here um, stick with something kind of familiar all right I might go ahead and mess around with that on the side all right so with that done I can um, I can go back I can go into the modeling and I can bring everything back and uh, we can um, let's see what if I bring in another lamp let's bring in a Sun Sun. Oh, I keep hitting that. Yep. And bring that up. We'll rotate it a bit like this. And we'll give it a strength of say three. And a bit of yellowness. And we'll also bring in a camera. And we will lock camera view. Maybe hit the home button. Look through the camera. Okay, we're just getting a sense of what these barrels might look like. Okay. Um, there's other things we could do for this, and I might do that in the next video. But it's a very quick way of getting something that someone would say, hey, it looks like a barrel. It looks like a great barrel. It looks like a cartoon barrel, but it's a barrel. All right, so we're going to leave it like that for now, and we'll see you next time.